This video is another in the series of how to install, enable, and work with WordPress multi-site. In this video I'll show you how to install the domain mapping plugin and it's different from installing any other plugin um, and what it allows you to do is instead of this uh, subdomain site being shown in your browser uh, WP Network Manual dot build with wp.com you can map a completely separate domain to this subdomain site on your network installation meaning from all outward appearances it will appear to be whatever domain name you map to it so without further ado let's get started and show you exactly how to do this the first thing we need to do is to set our name servers at our domain that we want to use for mapping so in this instance I want to map my domain howtomultisite.com and anyone who visits that domain I want to actually be taken to the content of the WP Network Manual dot buildwithwordpress.com domain name. So what I'll need to do is this is in GoDaddy and your uh, domain registrar might be different but somewhere in there there's going to be a section called name servers where you can set the name servers that you'd like now just simply click set name servers and you can see that I have already had my name server set to HostGator and you'll be presented here with four choices and by default uh, the choice will be I have a hosting account with these domains somewhere or I want to park my domains but make sure you have chosen I have a specific I have specific name servers for my domains because what we're doing is telling this domain name to look at our HostGator hosting account to find the content that we want to load when someone loads this howtomultisite.com domain. So choose OK and then go ahead and log out of your GoDaddy account. The next thing we need Install to do all the WordPress MU domain mapping plugin on our network installation. The installation of this plugin is not like any other plugin uh, that you may have installed before. There's some uh, special uh, moving of files and editing of your WP config file that you need to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead into the network administration area of your site uh, and in the plugins area click add new incidentally if you don't see the add new plugin uh, uh, the add new menu under the plugins area it means you are in the dashboard of an individual site on your network and not in the network administration dashboard so if you're not in the network dashboard click uh, your username in this drop down where it says site admin it will say network admin so go ahead and click add new plugin and we'll get the WordPress MU domain mapping plugin. We're going to install that. And then on your network you'll notice that instead of just saying activate it will ask you to network activate any plugin you install. Uh, you do want to network activate this plugin keep in mind that it will not work yet we need to take some extra steps the first extra step we need to take is to move a file that's been downloaded with this plugin uh, into a different directory on your server so in order to do that we'll open up our hostgator cpanel again and once we get to our cpanel we'll go to file manager and what we're going to do is drill down to the plugin files here and if you don't know already WordPress plugin files are stored under the WP content directory under plugins and we'll go into the WordPress MU domain mapping plugin directory uh, another side note is that you'll notice that the naming of this plugin includes the MU which is the old name for the multi-user um, functions of WordPress and the MU now stands for must use uh, so I'll get to that in a moment so we'll double click this directory to get into the plugin files and you'll see there's a file in here named sunrise.php 
what we need to do is move this file to our WP content folder, which is a couple levels up from where we're at. So there's an easy way to do this. We'll uh, just select this and then we'll choose move file. And a window will pop up showing us uh, the current directory that this file is in right here. And what we want to do is choose the path where we want this file to go. So because we need to have this file in the WP content folder, we're going to simply remove the path to the WordPress MU domain mapping plugin. So we're saying move the sunrise.php file to this directory. Simply choose move file. Now if we go up a couple of levels here to the WP content directory, we're going to see that the sunrise.php file is there. Pretty easy, uh, but definitely not something that gets done with any other plugin. Well, maybe some other plugin, but none I've ever heard of. So the next thing we need to do is we need to edit the WP config file one more time. So we're going to go up another level until we're in the root of our site. Scroll down to the WP config file again, and we're going to edit this file to add another definition. And this time we're going to define that we are using the sunrise.php file. So I need to go ahead and copy that uh, definition and I'm going to grab that right from this page. Now I'm going to uh, make sure that wp-config is selected. Choose Code Editor. And with the other wp-config editing we did, we added uh, our defines right above this that's all stop editing line but with this one we want to go down a little bit further and add it right above the last line right above the last require once line so we're going going to go ahead and put it right above that and then choose save changes in the upper right and then choose close so now we've installed and and uh, completely installed the WordPress MU domain mapping plugin. In the next video, we'll go through the domain mapping plugin configuration.